Hello YouTube and welcome to Grim Grimforks takes a first look at Stormworks. Um, today I was uh, I've been reached out uh, through the Keymailer apps to get and take a look a first look at the game called Stormworks. And uh, it's a game that's supposed to be, you know, search and rescue you being playing the Coast Guard. But the part that really got me intrigued is the fact that it says that basically this is the Kerbal Space Program on water. So, uh, note that I haven't seen any playthroughs. I have absolutely no knowledge what this is about. So, you are really seeing what am I seeing for the first time. So let's go in together. Um, settings wise, I always like to check them. I have toned down a little bit master sounds and everything. Controls, pretty much standard scheme. Graphics, quite a decent amount of uh, options. And let's go straight into the new game. World C, the normal difficulty. I have no knowledge what these things do, so let's just dive right in. I'm sorry if this is a little bit ad hoc, but I figured I would post my first impressions, which really are first impressions. So, character, gender, male, skin color. Let's set it a little bit. Hold on. There we go, sure, Caucasian, hair, blondie, I guess I could do it with blondie, maybe a little bit darker, I'm personally a little bit darker towards, uh, that's a little bit too much, ah, there we go, let's keep it like this, eyebrows, yeah, I love those eyebrows, they're just beautiful, okay, mustache, mm. Oh, I love these. Look at these. These are like my avatar. These are real ground forks. Do we have a beard to match? Oh, look at that. That's sharp. Except, really, I cannot stand that. Okay, let's see. Just something a little bit more decent. Okay, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can already see the potential here. So, let's... Uh... That one we can do, and mustache, come on. Some mustache has to be. Um, I guess this, I don't know. Eyebrows. Looks like a f body of a young man, face of the old man. Red, green, blue, well, whatever, doesn't matter. Let's go with it. Base clothes, shirt t-shirt and color light blue coast guard you know trousers shorts and those shorts should be dark blue there we go we look like a bloody color scheme that's wonderful and shoes oh i've never been good at matching colors i'm pretty sure uh, i guess we'll keep it like that doesn't really matter okay your boat was damaged in the recent storm you need to use a workbench to fix it Okay, is this this boat? Nope, what is this? Pick up. Okay, yeah, so what am I gonna do with that? Okay, I leave it. Right, okay, door. Pick up, so we can pick up a bunch of stuff apparently. Let's go and see what we, what do we have to do here. Oh, it's a guard tower. No less. Okay, good. Like I said, I mean, I like the stylized graphics a bit, so... Where am I supposed to go? There we are. Workbench. Okay, workbench. Sure. Create a vehicle. Alright. This is the vehicle editor where you can fix your boat. You can rotate the camera, right mouse button while dragging. Okay, yes, I'm doing that. Sure. You can pan the camera by holding the middle mouse button. Okay, I'm doing that. Or zoom in scroll wheel. Got it. In and out mouse scroll wheel. I did, now what? Okay, open the camera settings by camera, okay. 
Return, reset the camera. Okay. Place highlighted block in the highlighted space. Okay, yes, I did. Over adjacent component to see the what the block will be connecting to. Yes, and there, and... Place next three blocks, multiple blocks by dragging. Okay, done, good. Wedge block in the component list, yes, and then we put it like here. Uh, this actually feels more like Space Engineers than it feels like Kerbal Space Program, but okay. Multiple wedges can be put by dragging. Okay, now let's see. Multiple wedges. Yeah, I get it, but uh, how do I place it? Wedge. I got six in stock. Okay, so come on. I want to drag you, but all of a sudden I cannot. Now, let's see. Fix the next five wedges. Is there a way to rotate the wedge or something? Ah, there you go. You have to be careful where you're aligning it. Okay, I get it. Place a pyramid. And the pyramid should be, I guess, placed. Hold on. Aha, okay, now I get the... You either align it and then you have I, K, K, L, J, I. Okay, O, U. Okay, these six buttons. Okay, I think it's good. I think I got the point. Logic, hook up the logic between the components. Ooh, oh, this looks fun. Button in front seat to the engines on off node. Okay, I just have to rotate it. So we have to that one connect here. Okay. Next connect the axes W and S to the engines in throttle node. Okay, got it. And the axis A D the one rudder's input node and that's supposed to be where there no this will apply a turning force by pressing a and d ah okay so it's that way okay you to you good and then you once again to you all right Collect the power out from the engine to the propeller's power input. Okay, so you basically connect this uh, uh, simple enough, I would say. Save button. Click on the large plus to create a new save file. And a name, name for your boat. Gron works speedster. Because it's gonna go very fast. Boat is ready to go, click to spawn and take it for a spin. Why not? You have a new mission. Pre press N to bring up the missions and get more information. Okay, messages. Tutorial mission, deliver medical supplies. Toggle active button, wellness is inactive. This mission will be shown on the map and in game. Okay, sure. Toggle active. Press N again to close mission screens. Okay, medical supplies. Now. Okay, and I have to take it over there. Sure. EQ to pick up. Oh, this is fun. How am I supposed to dump it in? Like this, or? E... Okay. Yeah, this is nice, I guess. There we go. Look, can you see to start driving the boat? Good. Tab to enter the third person. Let's turn on the button. Okay, I get it. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Good. Let's drive. Top to return to the first person view. 
There we go, the router is connected. WAS drive to target location. I'm doing that. Okay, so it looks kind of cool. But I would say this is closer to space engineers, I guess, than it is to Kerbal Space Program, but I could be wrong. I do like connecting the logic, though. That part seems simple enough. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's an awesome screenshot right there waiting to happen. I mean, I get it that it's F to exit your vehicle. I'm not gonna exit. I want to park it, man. Have you ever heard of parking the boat? There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. F. Wait. F seat. Wait. There you go. First, you have to, you know, then pick up. And apparently, I have to swim with a big crate on my back. But, yeah, what can you do? E to place, okay, F ladder. Can I go up the ladder? Thank you very much. There you go. Now, okay, I guess this is a little bit rudimentary, but so far looks decent. And the graphics, it's, it's interesting. It's stylized. I don't mind it one bit. So where do we put it in? Do we put it in or do we put it at the back? I guess in the back works. There we go. Return to your home base. Completed the tutorial mission. Two times gyro, two times rudder blueprint. That's kind of cool. Great. Oops. Oh well. The boat seems to be stable enough. Small ladder. Let's go in. Right, now, seats, everybody, get ready, off we go. So far a simple mission, I'll probably cut it off here, just basically this is just the first look, so once I get back and complete the mission, but I guess I will be popping on on and off and uh, probably I'm gonna have more episodes of this as we progress. I'm very limited with the recording time today so I'll it, this will have to do. However, I mean the game looks cool and my first impression overall is positive. I'm not a big fan of Space Engineers type, I more prefer Kerbal Space Program where we have like ready Legos. However, I will give this one a look with an open mind because it looks kind of interesting and so, but I want to, like, okay, there we go. F ladder and go up and hopefully turn in the mission and everything is hunky dory and everybody is crazy happy with me because I have saved the day, brought some medical supplies and yeah. I mean, the game is very early access, that's for sure, that needs to be said, obviously, but it has just launched on Steam in early access, I believe, so... Yeah, definitely an interesting game to keep an eye on. Okay, and sleep. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the Stormworks tutorial. To start your next adventure, press the wake button. But I guess we will be doing that in the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching. This is Groundforks, signing off.